What's up? Laz here. Today we're going to talk about getting you through the Devil's Lair Grandmaster Nightfall, either with your go-to fire team, through LFG, or through a stream on Twitch that totally isn't mine and I'm totally not going to plug it here. So let's jump into it. I think the Devil's Lair is a solid GM to start out the rotation this season. I also think it's a good GM to attempt if you've never cleared one before. So let's talk team composition, subclasses, weapons, armor, mods, maybe other stuff, maybe not, I don't know. And let's see if I can keep it under 10 minutes. I personally think the most reliable team comp is going to be two Weld Warlocks and the Smoke Build Hunter. I know, shocking, right? But with how this Nightfall plays, I truly think any class will work. I just think these ones will be the most consistent for getting the clear. For weapons, anarchy. Like, that's it. My video's already over. I already did it in under two minutes. Thanks. Okay, but seriously. Anarchy is amazing. Any decent, hard-hitting kinetic sniper is going to be a very good choice. Both of my teammates use Succession, and I personally went with the classic, Izanagi's Burden. We ran the full spectrum of bows between us. One Void Bow, one Arc Bow, and one Solar Bow. I personally ran an auto-loading and lasting impression rocket launcher to further bake champs, cause frick champs. For mods, I think protective light is a must. The reduced incoming damage it gives you is just insane. Taking charge, obviously, so we can, you know, get protective light to proc. Charged up, so we can further build into being charged with light, increasing our charges from 2 to 3. I like running Reactive Pulse, it's like having a random little arc pulse grenade go off at your feet anytime you take damage, so long as you're charged with light. Our Hunter ran Special Finisher so we could have a healthy supply of sniper ammo, and everyone in the fire team ran Anti-Barrier Sniper mod and the Overload Bow mod. So the final loadouts were Succession and Anarchy for both of my teammates, I ran Izzy and Code Duello, and we had all three bows between us. We found that going to the left at the start here was easier path with far less enemies to deal with. Either kill the adds and move forward or just invis past them. We chose to invis past them most of the time. Also, don't forget to grab your grimoire. At times, there's an acolyte that can spawn in the walls here, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. He'll either be in there and just wipe your team sending you right back to orbit, or he'll just be chilling off to the side. Either way, bake this first overload champ from right around here and invis your way inside. In this first room, clear adds quickly so you can focus fire on the barrier knight who will charge you. A well-placed nade can weaken a pack of thrall enough where they'll be easy to clean up, sauce the idiot, yoink a quick finisher if you need it, and push on. I'd stay in these doorways until the wizard and the overload champ are both dealt with. After pushing out, a pack of thralls will spawn on the left side. Clear out the remaining adds and move up. Melt this barrier knight ASAP, then focus on the rest of the room. Chilling on this catwalk and using the cover to clear the adds is huge. Pop a well if you have it. Once you clear the room, the GM actually begins. I recommend chilling on this tanker thing for the entire duration of being in this room. Just keep spamming the phoenix wells, use your other super, and just slay out until the room is clear. There's a few sniper vandals that will hit you like a truck. Take them out ASAP. After a few waves of adds and champs, you'll almost be ready for the second area of pain. Just kill these adds and the single overload champ that happened in the next room and head outside to the next area with that big walker tank. Oh boy, strap in, make yourself comfy, go get a snack. You'll probably be in this room for a while. Right when you get outside, focus on the adds at the building in front and kill the barrier servitor. Get any finishes you think you can because you're going to need the ammo. Watch out for the snipers far out in front of you. Again, these guys hit like trucks. Move off to the left and kill this group of ads. There's a sniper on the roof and he also hits hard, so take him out quickly. My group found that if you don't push too far forward, you can work on some of the other ads and champs before the Briggs and Walkers will even spawn. Just jump up here and you can get line of sight on both the close overload and the barrier servitor that's in the middle. Take them out if you can, and once you're ready for the Walker and the Briggs, you can push forward a bit to spawn them. Take out both of the Briggs, then focus on the walker. Keep in mind that Vandal snipers are still around waiting to one-shot you whenever they can, so abuse your range. Push up, deal with the remaining overload champs, and get a finisher or two to top off your ammo before the last room. This boss room might seem like the most hectic place there is, and honestly, it probably is. But like the rest of this GM, if you play slow, spam those supers, you will get through it. Just get into this room on the left, and do your thing. 
Keep in mind, though it's rare, I have seen an ad or two come up these back stairs and hit you with that saucy flag. Overall, just spam those supers, get finishers whenever needed, and when you're ready, you can come out and start working on dealing damage to this big idiot. Once you do about one third of the boss's health, go back into the room and reset. Eventually, two overload captains will spawn, but at this point, it's nothing you haven't already seen. So just deal with them, deal with the ads, keep up the patience and the slow play, and you'll get the clear. And that's that. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video. Drop a comment down below to continue the conversation. I should probably say something here about subscribing also, huh? Ah, I think you get the point. I stream fairly regularly on Twitch. Link is in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with, I guess, my Twitch. That link is also in the description. And Laz, out. Yeah.